Kale here from Stomview USA. Um, I was reminded of a story of many, many years ago about um, John Madrid, who in my opinion was one of the greatest lead trumpet players that's ever lived. And the thing about Johnny that was amazing was his musicality. He had this amazing sound, but he had this musical approach that was just perfect. I mean, he knew how to lead a band. He'd studied lead playing. It wasn't about high notes, it was about leading the band. And on top of that, he had this ridiculous range. He played upstream uh, to about triple C's or above, and he would use that as icing on the cake. And this was many, many years ago. It could have been 20 years ago. And I was visiting Los Angeles. Johnny was living here, and I was hanging out with him as much as I could. And he called me up and said, hey, you want to go to a Bill Watchers rehearsal I'm doing for a gig? And I said, yeah, I want to go. So I rode down there with him and went inside the the room and, you know, the band was setting up and there were some trumpet players there that I recognized and some that I didn't recognize and there's this one kind of skinny guy who was warming up he was playing all kinds of scales up and down and all over the place scales and arpeggios he sounded amazing and Johnny sat down and in his normal manner just started talking to guys and joking about this and having a good time and watchers came in and said hello and started counting off the first tune and John didn't even have his horn out so John grabs his horn and throws a mouthpiece in and he plays and he just played incredible lead playing through the whole rehearsal. Just wonderful sound, wonderful musicality, dynamics, everything. And they went to the last tune of the rehearsal and it had a really long shout chorus and at one point in the shout chorus, just at the perfect moment, Johnny took it up an octave. It was already written high and he took it up so he was up in the triple range. And if I remember correctly, he ended on like a triple D for the last note and trombone players were turning around and everyone was just freaked out about how how great it sounded. Not only was it impressive because it was really, really high, but how good it sounded and how it, it was correct musically. It worked musically. And Bill Watchers was just digging. He goes, man, that was great. He goes, I want to hear that again. Let's take it back to Shout Course. I want to hear John play that again. So they went back and did it again. And the thing about Johnny was he was playing so easily and so relaxed that when he went back to do that the second time, it actually got better because he was figuring it out better how to do it, you know, where to breathe, where to accent, where to do it, this and that. So it just was unbelievable again. And he played, you know, end of it, the rehearsal, and everyone was having a great time and freaking out about how great he was. And I remember the second player turning to Johnny and saying, man, you make it sound so easy. And John just said, nah, thanks, because he was just having fun. I, I think he'd surprise himself sometimes. He'd just hear something and go for it. It would come out, and he'd be surprised himself that it worked sometimes. So we were leaving, driving home or somewhere probably to get a, some food or a drink or both, and I was telling him how great he sounded. And I said, by the way, who was, who was the guy playing second who said it sounded so easy? He goes, oh, he goes, that was Al Vizzuti.